Okay, so um, I'm just actually getting a, a chance to get back on the charts. Had a bunch of running around to do, so um, this is just the commentary for the trade that you just watched. So that represented the first actual trade for the income phase, okay? Um, that was an awesome trade. The reason that I say that is because of the fact that the environment in the market was awesome. The environment was nice. The behavior that was present, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm waiting to see. And as a result of that, the trade set up. And when it did, I took it and it was a winner. So I say that to say this. The consistency of winning takes place as a result of the consistency of clear recognition of behavior and environment. And that only comes through solid observation. So if you just think of it, you know, in terms of reversing the process, just think about what you're doing. When you get on the charts, first thing that you're doing is you're watching, you're looking, you're observing. You have to observe what the market is actually currently doing. You have to become aware of the current state of the market. Not what you want it to do, not what it was doing, not what you think it's doing. You need to be able to interpret what it is doing. And from that point going forward, you can make a determination as to whether or not the trade that you're waiting to set up is now taking place at the correct time, meaning is now a good time to be in the market based on the trade that I'm waiting for. That has to be your question, you see? See, this blueprint is applicable even if you don't trade the way that I do. You may not like to trade how I trade, I don't know. There's plenty of people that trade on Nadex who don't trade like me, that like, like I do, that don't trade like we do on Team Alliance, and that's fine. But I can guarantee you that Unless you're able to recognize the actual environment that you should be in based on the trade that you do want to take. If you don't do that well, I literally don't care what strategy or method you're using. You are going to lose consistently. In other words, you're going to lose more than you win. And that means you're going to lose money. I'm not talking about trade by trade. Well, Mark, I win at least five out of eight. I win seven out of 10. I win eight out of 10. The two trades that you don't win, what happens then? Where does that leave you? Somewhere close to breaking even? Are you consistently able to withdraw money from your account? You see what my balance is right now, 36.12. I made $612 off of that trade just now. Um, I'm going to do this each day. Of course, if the opportunity is present, take my trade and I'll be finished for the day. And I'm going to do it over the span of a week, over the course of a week and show you at the end of the week, what it looks like, what it feels like to make that withdrawal. And that's what I made for the week. A business. An income. And I built up to this position. Understand that where, do, where did this all start from? It started with $100 and it started with my skill. That's the same place that it should start off for you. There's no reason why you cannot take this skill, execute it, take a small amount of money to start off with, build it up. You're going to learn first and foremost how to recognize the right environment to be in. You need to know that the market is doing what it needs to do in order for your trades to come and for you to win. That's it. That's it. What else is there? So, so many people don't understand that still, and I don't get that. That's why this blueprint is so powerful. So anyway, this is the first trade uh, for the income phase. And once again, the, all this is is a blueprint. It's a foundation. It's laying things out and just serving as a visual 
example of what it looks like for you to be consistent in the market and why, like knowing why you're consistent in the market. That's the key to this. Not just being consistent, but understanding why. Understanding why you're not taking a trade at the time. And when a trade does present itself, understanding why the timing is right to take that trade or why the timing is not right, which ultimately would mean that you do not take that trade. It's not about you picking out trades. It's about you looking at the market as a whole. The timing has to be right in order for your trade to win. That's it. So hopefully you guys continue to get value out of this uh, blueprint project. You know, this is the biggest thing that I've worked on so far because it's it, it's literally taking you from the very beginning of where you'll start from. Remember, it begins with training. You got to you have to acquire the skill first. You got to understand what you're doing and you have to be able to navigate in the market. If you don't do that, how are you going to win consistently? How are you going to do it? Mark Fuller, Team Alliance, Blueprint Project. This is the income phase. Trade number one in the bag. I'll holler at y'all. See you on the next trade. Peace.